Hello and welcome to our latest edition of Inside Kirk. I'm your host, Melissa Buffalo, and today we are with Dr. Ursula Running Bear. Good morning. Good morning. So we're just going to ask her a few questions and get to, little, <clears throat> get to know a little bit more about her project. So um, let me tell you first a little bit about um, Dr. Running Bear. She's an enrolled member of the Sichangu Lakota Oyate. She's a research instructor for the Center for American Indian and Alaska Native Health located in, Colorado, in the Colorado School of Public Health at the University of Colorado. Anschutz Medical Center campus. Her 2014 Kirkup pilot grant project was multi-level context of health-related quality of life in Northern Plains tribes. So Dr. Running Bear, if you want to tell us a little bit about your project and maybe some of the key findings of your pilot study. So this was a secondary analysis and I uh, looked at two specific outcomes, physical health and mental health status. And the um, physical health status, I found that those that attended boarding school had lower physical health than those who did not. Mm -hmm. So that was the first study, the first analysis I did. And so the second analysis looked at um, spirituality, and I found that those that had higher cultural spirituality scores had uh, higher mental health status scores or better mental health status scores. So when you say spiritual, can you explain that a little bit more? So I used two measures of spirituality. One was a culturally oriented one, which was basically um, developed in tribal focus groups. So they kind of endorsed these questions. They used their knowledge, perception of what tribal cultural spirituality was. Mm -hmm. And so they came up with a series of questions of eight questions and these questions have also similar questions have been used in the general population as well okay. so and then I also used a conventional measure and by conventional I mean it's used in the general religi general religious um, literature and it's generally used with um, measures like religious denomination measures like Christianity okay. yes. so yeah cool okay so what type of impact could this research have on some of our American Indian communities? So I kind of see this, the findings of this research as just the first step. Like we detected a relationship between boarding school attendance and physical health status. And then we also have found that cultural spirituality is associated with better mental health. So I really see, again, these, these are just the first steps and that we should dive a little deeper and look at other things because mm -hmm. we don't really know a whole lot about these two um, different states in general and the relationship of the variables that I looked at. So, um, yeah, I just see it as kind of a first step and we need to dive a little deeper into okay. them. And then once we have a chance to look at relationships a little bit more closely, then maybe we can look at how we can actually use them. Okay, great. And one more question. Um, how could your findings be applied broadly or built upon? So for the boarding school analysis, I think that there are a lot of American Indians attended boarding school nationally. So I think that although I focus in on a very specific population, the Northern Plains, I think some of it might be related to other American Indian tribes. But I also think that there might be possibly some variation too. So it would be really interesting for others to do similar studies throughout the nation and look at physical health status and boarding school attendance. Okay. Um, and I say that, that because in Oklahoma, um, I know there was some work done that said that American Indians actually had positive experiences in boarding school. Mm -hmm. So I think that there could possibly be some regional variation. Yeah, well that'd be interesting to find out about. Um, well, thank you for your time. Um, again, we will be posting her actual presentation on our Kirka website, and it will be listed um, probably on Facebook and Twitter. So, again, thank you, Doc. Thank you for your time, Dr. Running Bear. Thank you. And I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time on Inside Kirka. Bye.